Welcome back, everybody, to part six of The Wolf Among Us, episode one. The um, last episode, uh, I got onto a rant about, rant and a rave about, um, oh, I gotta put my headphones in, I forgot. Uh, I got into a rant and a rave about um, literature, specifically Pamela, and um, I kind of ate up all my hard drive space, so there's going to be a break in the video at some point, and um, it should be smooth. I'm going to try and edit it so that's very smooth, but uh, hey, I'm not really a professional editor. I can only do the very basics, um, <laughs> but I should be able to splice together two video clips smoothly and uh actually i'm gonna have to do with all of them because fraps unfortunately uh got ticked one of the wrong boxes got ticked so um i where am i going um one of the boxes got ticked that said split every four gigabytes so i have about 30 parts <laughs> to this uh to my five parts um i unticked it and it should be good to go um but yeah so uh, these episodes might come out slower than I anticipated. Uh, but I need to learn to edit eventually. So might as well do it now. And let's check the last one. Okay, so I'm strong. I have the tower where the girl died. And then I die. Let's check out what that means. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Big. <laughs> Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. That's true. He's showing what's actually true. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> he nailed it. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. I know where her head is. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, but... It's simply the way this has to be. Okay, so I can't find Faith's body. Let's check out her father, who wanted her body. The old king. <gasps> Dude's dead. And her husband. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. It looks like he's the uh, culprit right now. Nope. I guess we'll find out. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. I've had my disgusting coffee, which I think is why I got on that big rant before. Um, I was hitting that peak, but uh, I'm coming down a little bit. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. So hopefully this will be an exciting episode in the game. it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, not your glamour yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Oh, you... What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. We should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Uh, Whenever you're ready. Okay. Maybe. Let's go. B. 
Before, what I was saying about Ichabod Crane being a stage Jew, that's a very British thing. We don't have too much stage, too many stage Jews in uh, American literature. We have some. Um, we had more stage blacks, like stereotypical blacks, uh, in plays and movies. Uh, usually, in the early days, white people playing black characters in blackface. Completely unacceptable now, unless you're uh, Robert Downey Jr. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. I'm going Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. Yeah, it seems more urgent. Prince Lawrence out. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Uh, uh something about um stage blacks. You still see a lot of them in like Japanese video games. Um Barrett and uh uh Final Fantasy 7. He was the stage black, uh, very yeah, obviously, yeah, very racistly. Uh, Final Fantasy X was, or not X, uh, Final Fantasy XIII with Saz. He was not as racistly done, but still a very stereotypical black man. Hey! Wait here. That's not what I asked. Where to go? Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Hey, Stoad. <laughs> right? Probably get that fixed. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what a toilet is. It's just a big hole in the ground. I mean, you put a pretty seat over it, but it's still just a hole. It's no better than a outhouse, really. Not that much better. You have water and it sanitizes. You have a seat. Hole's probably pretty far down. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice of him, okay? I've always been nice, except for the crane. He was a dick. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You sounded urgent on the phone. Where's the glamour? Sorry, Bigby. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. He's lying. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. What are you hiding, I mean, Toad? I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. Uh, that wasn't very nice of me. Don't waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Flycatcher. It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> like a weedle from Pokemon. 
just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Snow's much nicer than I am. Your lock's busted. Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. He's lying. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. It's a little odd that he's British, but like no one else is. I mean, a lot of these aren't American fairy tales. I need to get a dustpan one of these days. Look, if you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna find something. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Hmm. A lamp? The lamp? That lamp? You can see? I'm a good detective. If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Hmm. Suspicious. Huh? I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. He's bleeding. Why? His axe blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishment. I didn't see a cut. Oi, don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Uh, it's been yeah. a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a fault. Fair enough. I don't believe it, but you know, fair enough. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. I thought it was your hand. Shit, ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first. And that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Okay, it's been uh, long enough to cut the episode soon. Oh my God, we we'll not make see a how this plays out. out of this. There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Okay, we won't cut it yet. I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. Oh, you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. This seems like the better series for the uh, weekly or the daily series than Dead Space. Dead Space I can put down, pick back up. Uh, this seems like, you know, just go with it. They're shorter episodes, easier to upload. Um. 
I have to do a lot of editing, thanks to uh, Fraps. But um, yeah, I think this will be the daily series, maybe five days a week. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? Ooh, beast. No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. That's like claws. <laughs> I got the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. But the lock's broken. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You yeah. You heard uh, the new uh, Jake and Stevens album yet? Why'd you climb in through the window? That's three lies, huh? Toad. Why'd you climb in I'm gonna have to take window? a finger now. You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fuck you now. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Just tell me the truth. Come I'm here on, to help I'm you. Begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. I really want to end this. Put yourself on the poker. Uh, but... You didn't forget your keys. It's so you intense. Bump the lamp off Not the a good table. place. Maybe this is the end of the Tell episode. Wolf Among Us episode. She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? You interrupted. <gasps> Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Jesus. It was that butcher, I a Tweedle, Thumb or D. You've got to strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I can tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. What do you want? I told you, I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. No, poor Toad. He tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Thief! Uh, sometimes. Borrows, <laughs> I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, Millie repossessed what's been left behind. Well, mm -hmm. we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. J oh. No, I wouldn't. Lovely. Donkey skin. Ass skin. Faith. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here, and hopefully, uh, well, I might continue the episode, actually, depending on if I, if I need to cut the next two together. Um, I'm going to try to make the next one the finale. It seems like it's all wrapping up. But if not, you know, we'll keep on with this. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.